Welcome to the first episode of Smile Talk, the podcast. Dang, thanks for having me. This is lit. Man, oh my God. I love you, bro. First of all, I don't think anybody knows how long we've known each other. Six six years? I think like seven. Is it seven? It's been like seven years, it's bro. We grew, we grew up together. Hey, I was a youngin, though. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Boy, I grown growing up for real. I'm nah. super happy and proud of you, bro. Nah, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate Absolutely. it. This is lit. Well, y'all, this is the first episode, and... um. You know the vibes. You guys, you guys know him for the for the okay. Okay. But let's really let's really get to know Mr. Neary right here. All right, let's get this it, man. My brother, I have nothing but good memories and good thoughts man. towards this person. He's incredible, and anybody that looks up to him, they uh, you guys are looking up to a real, real good person. Thank you, man. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Thank you, Mr. Maxo. <laughs> man. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, tell us tell us about yourself. Where where did you grow up? What got you into just wanting to create and um, make a name for yourself? Yeah, man. So basically, grew, I was born in uh, San Bernardino, California. Um, yeah, I grew up in San Bernardino. So, like, my parents were uh, divorced. So I'd be with my mom in San Bernardino. And then weekends, I would be with my dad in uh, Fontana. Love um, your parents, by the way. Great oh, yeah. People. I love my parents, Great man. People. I wouldn't Your be dad sh- and your mom. Thank I remember you, remember your birthday party when you were up oh, on the yeah. roof? Throwing man, up the skateboard. That was lit. Just having everyone there and then my parents witnessing it, man, is a great feeling, man. Oh, I bet. It's and crazy. I was with them and they just look so happy yeah. and so proud. I love my mom and dad to death, man. Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Neary. But yeah, um, what got me into skateboarding too and all that, man, was, was actually my dad. Mm-hmm. He got me my first skateboard. But um, basically how it went was when I would come home from school, we lived in these apartments and there'd be a group of like these older guys skating. And I didn't really know what skateboarding was. So I was like, this is lit. So every time I'd come home from skating, I'm um, from skating from school. They would be skating in the uh, parking lot, and there's one time I actually sat there and they're uh, skating a flat bar. I was like, "Wow, this is lit!" So then the next day I told my dad, "Like, I want to learn how to do that." Mm. So then he took me to like the local Kmart and got me my first. It was like a fake little like uh, Spider-Man board, wow. and that's where it started, man. It's crazy. That's incredible. Yeah. You know, it's, it's wild, dude. I actually got my first skateboard from Kmart as well. Really? Like my mom, my grandmother actually found it in a in a basket. Oh wow. And like it was already it, I think it was already purchased, yeah. but it was just in there. Or maybe it was someone else's and it wasn't from Kmart, but it was in the basket. My grandma brought it home. Wow. Gave it to my mom and said, "Didn't like cuz I was talking about Correct. skating." Yeah. And I was I got same thing, very similar where you just see it and just like love it. Like instantly no, fall yeah. in love with it. It's a form of like love at first sight cuz you're so interested yeah. in it. Like how can I be a part of this? Correct. How can I yeah, do it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, dude. Shout so out like, your grandma, though, man. She she was a wonderful lady. R.I.P. to her. Man, it's amazing how close we are. You got yeah. to literally see me grow up. You got to my family loves you. My mother loves you. My shout grandma loved you. Yeah. Al loves you, shout man. Out, shout out Uncle Al, man. And it's all love, bro. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Let's get back to you. Sorry, this is literally family right here. So we literally. This is the first time I think we've ever, like, seriously like conversated we're always just enjoying each other's company you know so it's no, nice fact, to yeah, like yeah. really no, get correct, to yeah. it's just lit. talk bro you know what i'm saying we, conversations this <laughs> is what we do no, i'm just kidding this is what we're here for yeah and this is what what smile talks all about so um, oh, yeah. when it comes to uh skateboarding when was the first like pinnacle you'd say where you realized okay this is a lot of fun and um but like did you start to see like professional skateboarders that made you yeah wanna, so like you know what i mean yeah Yes, yeah, so I grew up in San Bernardino. Like my uh, my mom would actually take me to, like Blair Skate Park out there. Mm. But when I would go on the weekends with my dad, I have more fun with him like skating. Obviously, um, he would take me to South Fontana Skate Park, mm. and um, there would always be like demos going on. I actually met Nija. He was on a, a Boost Mobile tour. Whoa, crazy! Yeah, um, this is bro. I was so young. He had still dreads. Wow, like, little little kid. He's like young. Um, yeah, and seeing them to get the demos, like there'd always be those contests. I'd go and then I started buying like. There was, I think, a pharmacy in Fontana. If I'm not mistaken, it's Fontana. Um, I'd go in there and buy skate videos and go home and just sit there all day watching. And then What were, uh, what were some skate videos? Oh, you, man. You remember? The Cheese and Crackers. Yes, day one. That was one of my favorite videos the growing mini up. Video. Yeah. yeah, man. Legendary. Did you ever uh, watch Bag of Suck? No, nah, I've video. never seen that one. Louis Barletta, uh, nah. Day One, uh, Jerry Sue. All the flip videos are my favorite too. Oh my God! Back when Louis Lopez was a little jit too, had wow. long hair. He was really, he was a little kid. Yeah, yeah. Nigel with the with the dreads too. That was like I still Chan. have that poster in a box in my room where it's like he's like a little kid and he signed he signed the all that it was an Element team slash like Boost Mobile tour crazy. But uh, yeah, I still have man. that. It's wild. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 
when it comes to skateboarding, it's just something that it's a love that if you guys skate, if anybody skates, you can understand this, but it's like it never leaves you. Nah. It never leaves you, you know? No matter how old I get, bro, skateboarding is always going to be like a big part of me. Mm. Even if I can't jump down a stair sit or jump on a rail, like I'm going to be skating. Like, Absolutely. No matter what. So yeah. And like even me, I don't skate, skate, you know, I fingerboard, but when it comes to, I still watch skate videos. Yeah. I still, you know, I got friends that literally professional skateboarders so it's like it's nice to stay in the scene yo for people watching this that don't know he's like a legit professional yo <laughs> get your fingerboard and do like a uh, like a tray flip or something right. <laughs> do it do a flip <laughs> <laughs> no this guy's like gnarly with it i i don't get it like i don't get this all right name some name some flat ground tricks nolly flip what like how I can barely pop a kick. Yeah. Jesus Christ with the little stanky leg. Wow. Nolly tray. Oh yeah, you nice. He skater excel with his fingers. Wow. Yeah, enough, enough about me and my <laughs> my fingerboarding abilities. Yeah, Let's wild. get back to you, brother. All right, bet. Um, when it comes to social media yeah I, i'm not i'm not really a huge fan of social media but in your case it's amazing what you've turned it into and what you've cultivated through it so yeah when was you'd say uh, again another pinnacle in your life where you well, like making like the skate edits yeah and stuff? yeah so because i know you've been on it for a while bro. i know uzi little yes. Uzi actually commented wow on video. i forgot about that i watched you post that dude yeah. i've come on man come i on. remember bro i it's crazy from making Everyone knows like the team light work like page when uh they all started that and those are like good friends of mine. Light like work. Dude, my, my homie work. London's in there. Um anyway. Yeah, so making those edits, I was back in like twenty I was already do we were already doing it. Me and my homie London, shout out London. I love you, bro. Uh yeah, we were doing those edits, bro, like before they're like mainstream or trendy, like we're already putting the trap songs. Yeah. But yeah. You've always been I'm, on the slow mo on the yeah. beat drops and, and stuff. And that was before is like very like you've always how, had yeah. a good eye for just video editing in general. Yeah, because I was a f legit filmer before I was a skater. We'll get into that I though. Didn't even know but that. um wow. Man, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm loving this. So back to the edit shit, like bro, I started we started it started going crazy. Like it obviously like got like viral. So like we're getting like bro, crazy views, the edits and from the edits, and I remember Little Uzi, bro, back to what you said, Little Uzi commented, and I was low key like, bro, what? Like, and that was Uzi before Uzi, like now, nah, like, that was Uzi prime Uzi. Wow. Yeah, like, so you even seen him comment, like, oh, bro, he commented like two or three of my videos, and I was like, wow, that's gnarly. Like, I got someone's attention, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. You got a lot of people's but, attention, um, man. Yeah, so we started with the Instagram thing. I did that for like a, the edits for like a few years, and then TikTok started coming out. And I wasn't really into like the TikTok thing. I was like, I don't like this. Like it's I remember like that. weird dancing. I think yeah. I told you I don't, I I don't want to do it. Yeah. Um, but then one of my good friends, Geo, shout out Geo from Box Boys. He has like the whole underground wave videos shows going on right now. Um, shout out Gio. He was doing TikTok before me, and he was like, bro, like do it, like, bro, just hop on it. And I was like, eh. so I'd post like random videos, and they did some whatever views. And then we, st I started the first like episode of the welcome to redland series mm. we had those like two or three videos and they're going crazy and then I, I knew i already know little josh already before the videos but then i was like josh like bro this would be sick for like an intro and then yeah that That's intro the welcome to redland into, skate wow. park and then it took it went crazy shout out little josh man i love that kid much bro. love to little josh he, he's Absolutely. a character i love that kid it's amazing the love that you guys like have for each other it's like a little brother yeah you know, I like look, you I look at he looks up yeah to you i look at little josh bro like you like my son bro like there you go yeah like uh uh someone that teaches like a teacher. yeah uh, like i just want the best for the kid Absolutely. i recently just drove to uh to redland to take him like school shopping gave him like 200 bucks like here i love that yep um you also yeah. made a TikTok about that, right? Yeah, yeah, I took him like a little video. That's so gonna be posted go check soon. That out. Oh, yeah. okay. When it comes out, y'all go but, check um, it out. I remember you telling me about it. That's yeah. great, man. Shout out, little Josh, man. Much love, much love to Josh. But yeah, the TikTok stuff took it just blew up, bro. And I was like, holy shit! Like I didn't know. I was like, I wasn't expecting those numbers. What was the first video that kind of that you posted that really showed you like, wow, like? This is this is something on TikTok because I know you said yeah. Instagram. You've been so on TikTok. I did a um. I posted on TikTok and then I posted on Instagram, but it was um. What is it like a? Oh my God, I'm so brain dead right now. It's like a um. It's all good. 
Take your time. When you, when a skater doesn't land a trick, you don't think they're good. I'm like so dead right now. Uh, when he lands it and doesn't think it's good, like rebate. No, um, you can cut this and edit it. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, actually, no, but it's all good. Don't worry, bro. Take <laughs> your time. It's uh. You want some water? Yes. Yes. Anyway, I, I posted on TikTok. It was like a game of skate, but it's like when you underestimate a skater. There you go. Oh, okay. There you go. So it was like me doing a trick, and then the homie Donovan comes to me like, "Oh, that was a nice back through. Let's play skate." And I was basically like, "Bro, I'll blank you. Like, you look like a gym guy." And that <laughs> and that did a mill and like, I remember that video. Yeah, I did a mill like in five, five or six hours. And I was like, I wasn't used. To that. I was used to like maybe ten thousand, but I hit a mill. I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah. There's something, wow. and then I started coming up with more ideas for videos, and then from there it took off. That's awesome. But that was like the spark. You know, like the mm -hmm. initial. That's awesome, man. Um, little Josh, uh, what was the first video that you guys did together? It was the Welcome to Redlands, and it was just him. He was, like, I'm um, showing, like, a tour of the park, like, saying this is my park. Like, this obstacle, I run it. Like, mm, yeah. Okay, okay. That's where he took off, and then everyone loved him, man. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, your energy on there is just incredible. You got your yeah. okay. Where did the okay come from? Bro, we got to hear the story. All right, the story behind the okay. So basically, I was on uh, I was on a European tour with Diego, or Little Zan, as you guys know him. Uh, he took me on a world tour. We were in Germany, and he, we're already going to go on stage, and there's obviously like a big crowd, and I'm like, holy shit. Like, I'm like, wow, it's like two to 3,000 people in the crowd. And he was like, yo, I forgot what he said. He said, yo, go grab something. I was already like, like hyped. I'm like, oh, shit. So I was like, okay. And from that point, like, I don't know, it just, like, stuck around. Like, from me saying it there, I was like, that sounded sick. I love that. And then from then, it just, I kept saying it for years, and then I put it in the videos, and, like, again, blew off with the okay. I'm just yeah. like, yeah. yeah. It's now crazy. it's your brand, man. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, oh, we got to talk about the uh, unboxing time. Oh, yeah. uh, oh my god, that I was remember, way before TikTok. I, I know, because I remember specifically, I don't know if you recall, but I literally swiped up. This was like right when you could swipe up on stories. Mm. And I was just like, bro, your unboxings are just yeah. so Bro, and it was like random. Like I wasn't even like, again, just on the story. Just like, being you. Yeah. Just having fun. That's that's when the best things happen. Yeah, unboxing. But yeah, I'd basically, I'd get like a package delivered and I'd do like a whole like little intro, like flipping a knife and then. Yep. T -t 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 I'm already yeah. knowing, bro. I love it. The unboxing. Yeah. Shout out yeah. the unboxings. <laughs> There's a lot of very special characteristics that you have Thank along you. with your personality. Your amazing, genuine personality. Thank you. I appreciate it, that. Thank absolutely, you. Absolutely, brother. And even if I didn't know you as a friend, you yeah. know, like, or as a brother, I can still feel the love in your videos. You can Thank tell you. you take time. You, yeah. You really got put your heart into it. It's actually know? a lot of brainstorming. People probably think it's like, like, oh, he just posted a video, but it's like, yeah, like. Anything that requires from your brain to reality it takes some work to get there you know oh, yeah, like you got it with your hands whether if it's on your phone or if you're building something if you could see it in your mind first oh <laughs> the shout, dog don't shout do out the milk, <laughs> shout that, out milk. that's a big ass dog <laughs> oh my god he dropped the amethyst too Do you get milk? the who the crystal uh, but yeah dude that's a that's something that i wanted to talk about just how much you can feel that you love doing what you're doing and because you know it's it's you you're just being yourself yeah dude, i'm just being myself and like the love and support i get from just being me is, is it's dope man dude that's everything man that's beautiful. i guess weird too because like i go in public and obviously i'm not used to like people like i know we'll go to the mall and just yeah. like like we can go to like an amusement like, park or like the mall and like it's just it's like a weird feeling like well it's weird like i know the numbers i do on tiktok but it's like in person like well like people actually know who i am because you know it's one thing to be known online Correct. it's another thing to, to be, be known seen in person in yeah. person and not even just to be known in person but to be seen in person correct because if you don't get to see anybody and it's always behind the screen it's like you can't really connect with them you can connect with them to like Dude, a, a correct certain but i feel like if you're not connecting in like more of like a face-to-face -face with your fans i feel like it'll slowly die out because not even just die out but the love would die out no because, that's what I'm yeah saying. absolutely because when it comes to fans and i like to say just like the community the community Correct. that you've cultivated Thank you know you, yeah. but when it comes to people that show you love if it wasn't for them you know then it, it you wouldn't have the opportunity to be seen by other eyes and be able to help more people you know what i yeah. mean so the fans are everything and no yeah the I, I love my supporters and fans i wouldn't be and you where can tell i am too, without them every yeah. time um someone sees you in public and they take a picture you re you repost it right away and that's and it's not about the repost it's no. it's the it's the the thought that counts you know and i love showing the love back to give me because again i wouldn't be it shows brother where i am 
and stuff without them. So shout out, shout out to everyone that supports me. Yeah, shout out to all the all the okays out there. Okay. <laughs> oh what do you do? You have anything you call that your supporters, your people that? I don't have like everyone has like a, like a little like name for like their supporters. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, you're gonna. You know what? You're gonna come up with it. What is it? You know, I like to say, and it that you could use this. It doesn't matter. But I like to say the people that the community that you cultivate is your tribe because yeah. you guys are all in the same vibration. You guys are all, you guys think the same. You guys believe in the same things. You guys are literally on the same the okay tribe. The okay tribe right there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, yeah. it, it's not, it's just something that comes, you know, no, yeah, but, definitely. Um, but yeah, shout out to all the, all the shout out to okay. Okay. Oh man, dude, there's so much to talk about. Bro, um, a lot. When, uh, cause I know you still skate. I know you yeah. still skate. When, uh, what would you say? Because I know you've also traveled the world. Yeah. What would you say is probably one of your favorite skate parks that you've been to? <sighs> That's a hard one, honestly. Or Plaza, either one. Favorite skate park I've skated, and I was like, "Wow, this is lit." Was the Nike SB uh, training facility park in Berlin, Germany? I remember you posted that. Oh my they god! They got all the mellow rails and bro, it was, it was lit. Wow, yeah. I Just seeing it, like it's the Nike like little headquarter thing. It was, I was like, "Wow." This what is did lit. it feel like to be there? Just being in Germany, I was already like, holy, like, yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Like, when I was there, I was, like, more, like, off my phone, wasn't really taking pictures and videos. Yeah. I was more in the moment, which more I conscious. Re regret, because I wish I could sit back now and be like, bro, look at it. No, which I have, like, pictures, but it's like... It'd be... Yeah. It, dude, it's better, like, okay, I don't want to talk too much about me, but, like, when I was, like, signed to pain and stuff, yeah. I didn't put much on my phone. There was a few videos here and there, Correct. but the memories up here never yeah. fade. And that's everything, because... You don't need to show all your memories. You Correct. know what I mean? You just got to have the, the energy from the memories and just keep it with you. That's why I was more off my phone and like more like memories it's in my head than live. in my phone. Yeah. It's a good way to live. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was definitely the best skate park. I was like, wow. It looks like lit. a lot of fun. Bro, it was lit. Oh my God. I used to go to the barracks a lot too. That was one of my favorite parks. But like, you know when you go somewhere way too much and it's like, eh. That's a good problem to have, going to yeah. the barracks too much. Hey, shout out Steve though. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Shout I've been the there barracks. twice. I uh, that was that was a fun. There was a time I went there for like a week straight. I was like, this is lit. That's amazing. Next time you go, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to definitely get some gel blaster <laughs> content too. There, that'd there be lit. Go. Shout out gel shout blaster. Shout out gel blaster, dude. So tell tell me about gel blaster. When Bro, did, crazy. What? Uh, who's the person that you talk to? Who's like your your friend there that that really cultivated? So basically, the how I got tell us the story. Basically, how I got uh, connected with gel blaster was uh. My friend Jesse or MTV Jesse from the Nalk Boys. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Shout out I was Nelk. doing some videos with them at their uh, the warehouse, and they were they have something with Jaw Blaster, so there was a guns there and stuff, and uh, I was you know making videos with them, and I made a Jaw Blaster video, showed them. I think I remember that. That was yeah. when you were where they had the little half pipe, right? It was the mini yeah. ramp, the boxes, yeah, the mini yeah. Ramp, yeah. So I made like a TikTok there with the Jaw Blasters, and then I tagged them. I remember that. And then they had like messaged me like, "Yo, would love to send you some stuff," and from there so shout out uh, jesse man hey that's beautiful shout yeah. out jesse good people know good people but shout out job blaster though man yeah. dope dope people yeah yeah they, i see they show you a lot of love you show oh yeah always love. bro it's they sent me man. a fat box oh my god it was like 15 or 16 guns like of the job blaster yeah like, insane i need one of those <laughs> i do i got you when uh when we go back yeah, yeah i got you all right no but shout out job blaster yeah man um man what are some other uh influential companies that you'd say that you've worked with within your life well, like it's been lit not even lit or that, you that you've connected with like i know you wear a lot of the same uh oh, like sugar companies. hill yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean so like, like tell us the stories behind what you what you back what you believe in well sugar hill you know what i'm saying we got the sugar hill on the body you know what i'm saying <laughs> no i'm just kidding sugar hill's been hooking me up for a minute and like bro this is like a big i see it's crazy because i've seen the baby and son in fort vegas wearing it in a video like three years ago when he yeah. first blew up and i was like those puffer jackets are lit yeah. So I had reached out to him like, yo, love the work guys, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yo, we'd love to send you like a box. Mm. So for the past, like, since COVID happened, they've been hooking me up. So that's like two and a half years, years three yeah. years. That's amazing, brother. And that's, isn't it awesome how like you can just make such a impact where people just really want to like bless you. No, bro, it's amazing. It's, dude. And like not even on some cocky shit, bro. Like I've been getting hooked up since I was like a little kid. And again, it's just for that's me beautiful. being me. Yeah, absolutely. Since I was like, and it's only going to keep going. When it's I first met you, going. too. I know, bro. But even when I was like... You were getting decks from yeah. shops. You were getting uh, grit. I remember you were getting grit. Yeah, um, I still get uh, boxes of Grizzly still. You've been... Oh, tell us about Grizzly. What? That's amazing. When I saw you with that little care package... I don't even know how it was, came by. I just remember talking... It was a while ago, though. I know that, Yeah, right? they've been doing it for like two years. That's amazing. But um, 
I don't even know how I got hooked up by them. Remember, I was talking to like one of the workers. Shout mm. out Sean. Um, and we showed him like the TikTok work and stuff. I did a few videos that like blew up with their stuff, and from there I've been working with them. So shout out Sean and Grizzly, man. Much love to Grizzly. Is yes, T Puds T Puds still with it, right? Yeah, he owns yeah, it. Shout out T Puds. Yeah, I know he's killing it. But thank you. Oh my god, bro, bro. their graphics are sick. Dude, him, their I think him and I uh, Day Wong Song opened. Like, exactly. Own, yeah. Their entire energy is amazing. Two of my favorite skateboarders made one skate company. It's called Thank You. Yeah, That's shout out lit. Thank You. Shout out Day One and Tori, man. And Tori, legends. And Grizzly too. And Grizzly. Sean from Grizzly. Yeah, man. That's awesome. It's crazy to be working with like Grizzly though. It's like a childhood dream, like Absolutely. Grizzly grip tape. Yeah, dreams come true, man. Definitely, man. Oh man, let's see. Uh, when it comes to life, what are some things you like to do for fun? I know I could say one thing. I know you do all the time. Go to the movies. Oh, yo! You literally, I yo, swear, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Tell him, man. I would be bored, not even like mostly bored or like nothing to do. I would literally just Uber the movies by myself. And, like, and this, this would be like, like three times a week. <laughs> like I can hit people up to go, but I'm just like, I'm yep. okay trying to vibe and just go watch a movie. Like, yeah. I don't know. But I'm, I remember too, cause like I'd pick you up and then I'd drop you off and then it'd be like early, like six. And yeah. then you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the movies. Yeah, I'd be bored. I'd be like, bro, there's no one like to hang out with out here. That's yeah. when I was in Redlands. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna go to the movies. And yeah. I would go faithfully, bro. Get me a big popcorn and slushy and some nachos. Yeah. Oh, dog. Man. Yeah, Redlands. That, dude. So tell us a bit about your hometown. What is something that helped influence? Well, Redlands isn't my hometown. Oh, ni- oh San Bernardino, right? San Bernardino. Okay. So what, like, where from your hometown kind of, is that where you saw the skateboarders? That was no, it was Fontana. Oh, so I'd go with my, with my dad. Got you. Got you. Okay. So I'd go with my dad on the weekends and then he would take me to the skate park oh, okay. in Fontana. Sweet, sweet. Okay, yeah, no, but, but shout uh, out San Bernardino. You know what I'm saying? Much love. I know when I'm out there too. You show me all the best places. We went to a uh, corner bakery and get the. Oh, that was in Redlands. Yeah, sh- corner bakery, bro. That place and is. And that one sushi place we went to too. Sushi. You remember? Yes, bro. Oh, and sit. In, yeah, that's in Redlands too. In right Citrus next, Plaza, it's yeah. called like uh, Shiki or something. Yeah. Shiki. They had oh really good God. sushi rolls. The pot stickers. The pot. Yeah. Yo, I was. I got like three or four orders. Yeah, of them. you did. I was going crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, you did. You actually got, you're just like, you ordered one, and then she came back again. You're like, I'll get another one. Oh, yeah, that shit was fire. Like, I'll get another one. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Chilling, chilling. Uh, yeah, shout out that uh, Shiki bar, man. Yeah. No, they got great sushi. Um, What are some, uh, are you into food? I'm a big food head, bro. I love bro I'm a fab boy. I love food. What is like a go-to place where you could just eat all the time and not feel bad about it? Ooh, that's hard. I eat a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> oh. Not feel bad, like... Not feel like, bad about it. I mean, like, if you could eat it all the time, what would it be? Pizza and Chick-fil-A. Okay. Okay. Those are the go-tos. I eat pizza a lot. I'm not going to lie. This whole week, I've had pizza the whole week. <laughs> okay. Not being dead ass. Okay, okay. Okay, pizza and Chick-fil-A. What do you get at Chick-fil-A? The spicy chicken deluxe or the... Uh, EG actually got me into the wraps, the chicken wraps. That's what I get. They're Bro, amazing. With the Polynesian on top. Okay. I Schmackers. Use a, I use a little bit of the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. I haven't had the Polynesian. Is it like the sweet and sour one kind of? Kind of. It's like sweet, but it's fire. Okay. I've never tried Chick-fil-A sauce. I've never had it. You go to Chick-fil-A. I don't get Chick-fil-A sauce. That shit grosses me out. I just, I don't it's know. It's really good. Chick-fil-A sauce is good. Have you ever had Chick-fil-A sauce? It's fire. It's amazing, right? <laughs> you know, they sell it. Yeah, yeah, they sell it in grocery have stores. Now. I saw yeah, that. I was crazy. like so happy. They need to do that with canes. I know you're not a fan. Of, I know Bro, you're Bro, don't even canes. get me on the Chick fil A. So, I already canes. know. We've had this debate Yo, a lot of times. In the comments, let me know Chick fil A or canes. I personally. The only thing good from I'm canes. I'm curious too. Yeah, leave that in the The only comment. thing good from canes is the fries and bread and lemonade. The chicken's like mid. Okay, I can agree with that. I think the to fries. Me, the to me, the chicken's mid. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. To uh, me, the chicken's The made. bread's really good when you get oh. that bob style. I look, you get like three extra on the side. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. But the fries, too. The fries. The fries are gas. The, the crinkle and, cut. And for me, <clears throat> excuse me. For me, my favorite part about chick or, uh, canes is the sauce. I never had the cane sauce. Man, I don't know. I don't like wild. ranch. I never tried ranch. It just grosses me out. <laughs> she doesn't like ranch either. It's nasty, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I've never had it, but it just smells weird. I feel like if you've never had it, then it's just in the mind because if it's not, nah. it it stems from somewhere where it's like you said you're never gonna like it. Nah, and never same with it. like I ain't trying mustard. I ain't trying none of that. I've tried I've tried mustard on accident and I wasn't even mad at it. Like yeah. I tried things that I thought I wouldn't like because I was told I or I was told or I told myself that I wouldn't like it, 
I end up trying it with more of a open mind and a yeah. just fresher perspective. And it genuinely like, it's like not bad, you know? Yeah. Or it's not even not bad. Maybe I'll even like it. But like my go-to spinach. sauces though is just barbecue ketchup and tapatio. Mm. Okay. The gays. <laughs> the gays. Ketchup. What you say? Ketchup. No Yo, ketchup. crazy story. You. Everyone knows me. I'm picky as hell. Ketchup. I tried th- four years ago. Barely. Uh, uh huh. I was mad hungry. I was with my cousins running out Scary Farm, and they got like this big basket of fries, and I was like mad, like hungry, and I was like, damn. And there was ketchup over, and I was like, I full sent it. Dude, I've done and that after, with mustard. After, and I was like, actually, this is like good. Yeah. But yeah. Dude, I literally did that with mustard. Sometimes when you're mustard so hungry. Mustard is not the vibe. No, but listen, though. When you're so hungry, and I'm sure you could agree to this. When you're so hungry, you put anything in front of you. When you're really hungry, even if it's something you don't like that much, yeah. if it's a little bit on top or something, you're still going to eat it. Uh, I'm stubborn. I won't. You ate the fries with ketchup and liked it. That's different. That's what I mean. But I'm not eating like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some like a burger that has like. Mustard, mayonnaise, okay. nah. Okay, okay. Let's get pushed this side. But, um, yeah, let's see. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk about or just want to put on record? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff I wish I could talk about, like I have upcoming projects that I can't. Let's hear about that in a, in a more as much as you can way. Damn. I don't <laughs> know. I'm not trying to get sued. Okay, okay. So... I understand that. But when it comes to like things that are coming up, you're excited for what you got coming up, right? Yeah, bro. Some There's like two things I'm just like, I go to every year and like we're working together, which is like a big thing. And I'm like hyped because I'm like, whoa, like I grew up there going as a kid. Yeah, it is, man. You and now I'm doing like a deal with him. So I'm just like, wow. You literally manifested. No, I did. It's like, it's a it. blessing, man. So absolutely. I can't wait to post and share about that. Let's talk a little bit about synchro synchronicities of life like the the numbers of because i know you you always post the triple digits yeah bro it's weird because like what does that mean to you a lot of like i don't know it's weird like i'll pay attention to license plates and i'll come across like 222's always followed me and then 222 it's always like 222 111 777 and 444 and i look at it as like i look more into it like it's like signs like absolutely signs from the universe man yeah so like i don't know i'm really like more paying attention like the numbers when I see yeah. something and like manifest it like, in that it moment. It keeps you present as well. No, yeah. And I it's agree. weird because I'll see certain numbers and then I'll, I'll like literally think of it in my head like something I'm manifesting and I've seen it like a week later like it, it happened I was like oh what the hell. Like, yeah. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. When it comes to a sequence of three numbers for me whenever I see it it comes to the simple fact of being exactly where I'm at and I'm, I know I'm supposed to be there. So you know you're exactly where you're supposed to be with the people you're with, yeah. doing what you're doing, going where no, you're facts. going. If you're driving and you see it, then it means like you're meant to be driving right now. You're literally, you got Yeah, it's it. weird because like I'll just be like driving or just look to the side and like randomly see like, my head told me like, yo, look right there. I look mm-hmm. and it's there. It's just weird. Yeah, we see but, triple digits all the time. Yeah, it's lit. It's, crazy. it's a beautiful feeling too because it's just like the universe is on your side, you know? So, oh, yeah. And, if, and this is something that I want to talk, because I know I've been talking to you, but to talk to the people that are listening and um, this is just something that whenever triple digits come, um, when you realize them, when you start to notice them, you're going to see them more and more and more. And I think that's when you allow yeah, bro, yourself the first time and I've, open yourself to, yeah. like, receiving that energy yeah. from the universe. Remember one of my friends was like, uh, pay attention to those. I was like two years ago or something. I remember telling you that as well. Yeah, and I didn't really pay attention to, like, the number. I was like, oh, it's just a number. But as I, like, paid attention to, like, 222, like, I've seen, I just looked at it. It's like randomly I see it everywhere now. It's yeah. like stuck. So I'm yeah. like, wow, it's crazy. There's some times too when like you're doing or when I'm doing something and it's like, uh, I'm not sure if I should do this. And it's like something where it's like self-doubt. And uh-huh. then I see triple digits like, okay, I'm exactly. Yeah. I'm supposed to do this, you no, know, thanks. and then it ends up being amazing. And then yeah. everything happens for a reason. Correct, it's yeah. like a snowball effect, really. No, shit's crazy. Absolutely. But yeah, 222 two, two follows me a lot. So, yeah. Every time I see 222, two, I just like think of some like positive stuff in my head that I want. Yeah. Yeah. Love to hear it, man. Well, I think that might be the first episode. It's the first episode of Oh, <laughs> Smile Talk the podcast. Yeah, this is lit, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Dude, thank you so much for coming on here. You know, I remember we were at E's. Shout out E, Shout by out the way. EG. And yeah. Alex and just hustled the Dang, Alex. The camp. I wish he was here. Oh. I literally called him, but I think he's a little busy. Shout out Alex, my Shout brother. out Alex. But um yeah, when it comes to uh podcasts and stuff, this was something that 
I brought up to you and you were like, dude. Yeah, I was definitely nice. You pitched the idea and I was like, bro, I'm yeah. down like to jump on it like now. Yeah. And it's I don't funny know. because this is how amazing. Because I always too. watch podcasts like podcast, bro. bro I, I always love. listen to podcasts. So this is gonna be on uh, Spotify. I'm gonna get it up okay, on dope. Spotify and 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 maybe like uh, Apple Podcasts. No, that'd stuff. be lit. This is gonna be. Yeah, I love watching podcasts. Like, so if you're to be in to be in a podcast, I'm like, oh yeah, let's run it. So if you're listening from Apple or Spotify, Shout let out. me know where you're uh, where you're tuned in from and comment yeah, where you're let from. Let us know. Let us know your name. Write I definitely want to come on another one. Or if you have a guest, like I want to be like that'd be lit. Oh, bro! Or like if you if you, if you if you have a guest, like I want to be like absolutely. Another, yeah. We could just have a three way conversation, bro. That would be lit. Okay, I'm literally gonna write that down. That's amazing. Yeah, but um, write it down. <laughs> But yeah, let us know in the comments if uh, if you can if you're watching this or if you're just listening. Yeah, definitely. Maybe shoot us over a DM. Tell us where you're from. Let us know. Uh, yeah, I you, love seeing that. Like when I go live, got, I love yeah. saying like comment where you're from. It's dope yeah. to see like different countries, states. Like it's dope. Isn't man. it amazing how you can literally Yo, connect with? What's other crazy people? is I had a, a supporter DM me and they're from Dubai and I was like, what? I was like, people are watching me in Dubai. Like that's kind of wild. Absolutely. Shout out Dubai. Shout I would, out. Lo- I would love Around to go to Dubai. World. Dude, I want to I want to go to Dubai and anywhere. Italy. Mm. What, yo, uh, for a lot of people always ask me what nationality yeah. <clears throat> what nationality I am. I'm Mexican and Italian. An Italian. Yeah. yeah. People I I could I could Everyone see thinks it. I'm white. Definitely not white. I mean I, I mean it's not, you know, there's not that many things that determine yeah. a lot of race. But yes, but I'm Mexican and Italian. Oh, okay. Dude, it, you literally look it, too. Like, And you got that Italian like energy. Yeah, I don't know where wife beaters look like someone's like Italian uncle. Like a Guido? Yeah, like a Guido. Like, <laughs> hey, where's the pizza, eh? Patrick Guido. I'm a Guido. But yeah, this is the first episode of Smile Talk, the podcast. And This um, is lit. Thank you for having me. Thanks for everyone watching. You, bro. Absolutely. Thank you to everyone listening. Okay. Uh, no, nah, before you end this, though, you have to do... You have to, I'm going to name three tricks, and you have to do it. All right, let's do it. All right, bet. All right, ready? Uh, laser flip. Ooh, I'm nervous. Oh, he's a little camera shy. Oh, okay. Do a uh, hard flip. Ooh, okay. I want to do something. What's something sick that you learned like on the flat? Nolly Hill MZ. Ooh. Ooh, a little swagger. No, yeah, it's sick. I just don't get it. But yeah, y'all. I hope. Alright, thank you everyone for episode. watching. I love you guys. That was so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Yeah. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, I appreciate day. you. I love you know you. what I'm saying? Love you too, dog. Okay. <laughs> Peace, y'all.